that's brisk. It is. It's a brisk morning, but you know it's worth it because we're on Main Street, 1475 South, honey. Um, and we're about to get our feelings and emotions on at Feelings and Emotions. Oh, Jane, pastry chef and master baker Adalberto Diaz has brought his Cuban flair of pastries, sandwiches, different coffee beverages to the heart of Salt Lake City and even the broader Salt Lake County where we can come and taste Cuba in Utah. <laughs> We're so lucky. I mean, international dessert and breakfast flavors. Uh, let's go tasting. Let's go tasting, girl. Uh, hi, Chef. Hi, hi Jen. Chef. How, are How are you guys? You? Great morning. Yeah. Oh, Good my gosh. Morning. It's, it's so a beautiful great. morning, too. Oh, it is. It is. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's a little crisp, so we are excited to be in like this crisp. beautiful, fabulous smells, warm it environment. It feels so warm. Yeah. It feels right. like food cozy. Don't you think we should pop back and see? You guys want me to show you inside and see how we do things? Yeah, could Let's we? walk in. Let's I'm do please, it. Come over. Okay. Hello. The oh. perfection oh, no. of this process. The ruler's out. We don't want to distract you. Right. No, I can but, uh, talk. You know, the, the, that's the good thing about, uh, you know, us chefs, we can talk while we'll, we'll do the work. Multitasking is not well, even a thing for you. That's just the important. definition of chef. You know what we're doing here? No, you tell idea? us. Do you have any clue? I mean, it kind of looks like a cinnamon something. roll or something. Yeah, like that. cinnamon roll, well, kind of. This is our croffing. Um, and the croffing is um, wow. it's a hybrid between um, croissant and a muffin, right? Okay. Oh, I love it. So, and then, as you can see, these are, um, these are croissant dough, which, by the way, I don't know if you can see, but if you carefully look in there, you're gonna see around 16 the layers of dough. Actually, you can see, see them right in there. there. It's laminate. Can you see, the, can you see that in there? Oh Almost my like gosh. rings in a tree. Yes, I mean, exactly. Yeah. Uh, croissant dough takes us um, two days to produce. So we stay, we, you know, we start, uh, start the day before two making days. the dough. Yeah, we okay. made the dough the day before. We let it ferment, then we laminate it, which means we put uh, like, 30% butter within the dough and then layer it yes. and then we layer it twice until we get 16 layers inside our dough. And that's what we're seeing here. And that's what and you see in there. Then that dough there. has to rest overnight again. Oh my and then on the next day then we sheet it which it means we turn oh. it into these slabs and then we cut it and shape it and then, <laughs> then it proofs overnight or ferments overnight in the fridge and then it goes into that proofer. You can see some of them in there. Oh and then once goodness. they get to the size we want it to be, then they get baked. So the process is a pretty long and tedious process, but it creates this beautiful um, product. So this is really important for our audience to know is that we've come in two days into the process. It's not like you're creating this for us oh, right now. Oh, no. What time do you start in the morning? So What's our your first, alarm clock? Um, well, my alarm clock <laughs> is in my brain. Okay. And it's usually one o'clock. We'll put them over here. 1 a.m.? 1 a.m. Our uh, first baker, Brian, actually our head chef, gets here around 2 in the morning every day. Like that is so above and beyond what I thought the baker time. So our job is not only to uh, have a product that we know we are making and we know where ingredients come from at any time, we also have skilled workers that get paid what skilled workers get paid to do the job and it shows because at the end you have something like this. I mean this is amazing. Look at that So beauty. you start with so something great. like this, yep. it proofs over it proofs and then it overnight bakes. and it gets nice and big. And Actually it, it only proves to fill this container okay. and then the shaping that we do allows it to turn into that. Oh my goodness. If you don't That's have the shape that we do, I will challenge you right now to go anywhere right now. There's only like <laughs> one place one place that does that shape, and it's not in America. So you've got this beautiful croissant, mm -hmm. and, and then you have the beautiful, beautiful bell. Muffin top. Yeah, the muffin top, but it's all it's all croissant though. And you oh. can see our our lamination. You can see if you look at it from now, you can see our spiral in there. It's, it's perfect. It's gorgeous. And every layer. Then and it's going to, you want to oh, see more? Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. That sound of just like oh, you know. Right? The, Knife you ready for this? Yeah. Oh. Look at those layers. That so that what most people will do, so will they take this and they will spread it. I love seeing the chef do it. Right. That's, that's, that's really like, oh, that's what you do. Okay. That's what you do. And then this is oh. sort of a different version of almost yeah. a chocolate croissant. Or yeah, this is basically our, you know, 
non cinnamon roll, cinnamon I'm roll. I'm salivating. Churro, dulce, everything. A little churro. It's a churro, uh, actually. It is. Yep. That's what we call, oh, we call it. The churro, dulce, leche, oh, graphic. That's gorgeous. So, to get to taste this in your kitchen. Yeah. It's extraordinary. Pastry chef Al. Wow. All right. Cheers. 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 Thank you. Enjoy. Well, Chef, I think what we would love to do next with you is we'll bring this, maybe a couple, couple, couple of cups of coffee, something for yourself, and let's sit down and chat a little bit more let's about you and your training and your motivation. Inspiration. And inspiration. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's do, do it. it. All right. Okay. Chef Al, uh, we're here with our cuffins. We do know that. Incredible um, cups of caffeination. Would you break down everything we see on the plate here? So, so let me let me first tell you about uh, our biggest product, the product that we have the most of and we sell the most of is our macarons. Oh. Even though this is a French cookie, we actually known all around the state for making these beautiful macarons. We have like 12 flavors of them, and oh we sell goodness. them in all the Harmons. So you can find them in all the Harmons as well. Oh wow! So Isn't you could come crazy? to Filling and Emotions yeah. if you want, but if you're in St. George, well, you could close. get. Think about it if we're closed. I mean, yeah. Harmon closes at 12, we're closed at 6, you have 6 more hours. And all over the state. All over the so state. So if I'm in St. George, which we, we often are, yes. all right, perfect, we yeah. know where to go. We, we go We go to Cafe Diablo for your dessert. Yep. We go to um, Harmon for the macarons. That's right. I love it. Yeah, so these are the macarons, and then of course we have, uh, these are ham and cheese croissant, and you know the, what I love about that is like, remember those layers we talked yes. about? You can see them in there as well. They're gorgeous. Um, it's a beautiful, uh, Pastry, we have our baguettes, which we have now uh, the demi baguettes. Mm -hmm. That one is prosciutto and asiago. We have actually a pepperoni and mozzarella, and we have a vegan one that has um, uh, grilled artichokes, uh, spinach, and uh, you know uh, roasted peppers. It's wow. delicious, so it's really good. Of course, you see the pana chocolate, which is our uh, chocolate croissant. Look at this beautiful uh, right? Jam. Don't you that's gorgeous. So that's just one thing that we do. We, we brand uh, our product. I mean, everything that we do have a specific look that's all just ours and we make sure that I do enough research on the area to know that our product is very distinctive so whatever you see our stuff you know came from us okay. and then talking about Cafe Diablo yeah. that's yeah. our uh, ropa vieja meat pie and the ropa vieja meat pie is a shredded beef that we do from Paisley's um, um, grass-fed beef, beef. Yeah. Yeah. so, so we buy fan. from them directly, you know, actually we have a good relationship because they buy our pastries from us okay. and then they, they we buy the meat from them. So we use the ground beef for our uh, Cuban um, meat pie, which is uh, ground beef and pork, and then we use it for our shredded beef and potatoes. That one has shredded beef, onions, peppers, olives, capers. It's it's actually braised twice, one on red, once in red wines and another one in sofrito, which is a Cuban sauce. Yes. And then it's tossed with roasted potatoes. So it's it's a beautiful little pastry. Savory, magic. Meat. Like, where were you trained? Why are you here? Thank goodness you're here. Who are you? Oh, who am I? <laughs> That's a secret I'm not gonna reveal. But let me, let me tell you a little bit about, you know, I came to Utah um, uh, 18 years ago. Actually, I was in Miami only for like a week, so I, a very, very short time, considering wow. most Cubans stay in Miami from the beginning yeah, till the end, right? Mm -hmm. So um, Utah was kind of a either luck or you know not having a choice. The people that helped me escape from Cuba are from here, so I didn't have any other place to go. I have no money, I have no family really. So um, they told me come over here and we'll we'll help you get you know get you somewhere. So I got a place where I could sleep and whatnot. And then it took me a few years to to get to where I am today. When I crossed the border, I was actually at border entrance in jail for like 21 days before they released me into the country. So, you know, there was a lot of uh, the stories. It's a lot more interesting than what I'm describing. Yeah. But it actually told, you know, kind of give me a little bit more um, about, you know, America welcoming and giving me the chance that some people don't get. Yeah. So I, in that sense, I feel very privileged. I have been very lucky and that's another part of my privilege to be so welcoming so like I've been working really really hard but not everybody that works hard gets what, what I've got and I'm very very lucky and very uh, grateful that Utah welcomed me and, and and that's why I give Utah as much as I possibly can and, and organizations and, and places and neighborhoods and 
and families and even just my regular customer. I, I have to be grateful for them and you know thank them to get me to where I am today, which by the way is not even the beginning. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Which we which we, we can tell. There's yeah. a there's there's more than a oh, spark in those eyes. More. There's a lot of passion that, that you mm -hmm. have to give and Jamie and I really do feel like it's sort of our privilege and honor to be able to take what you do and then show that to yep. Utah and the broader broader Thank world. You. So yeah, highlight it, translate, whatever it might be, but just, yeah, truly offer it to everyone. Everyone needs to know about this place. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. A little Thank bit you. at a time. Let's not make it too fast. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> pacing. Right? It's all about time. Yeah, pacing is good. Pacing is good. Thank, Thank you, Chef. Thank you.